Good afternoon, this is Jim Lakey with news and announcements for Maxville and St. John, Kansas on Cable Channel 3 and on SandylandCenter.org, our website for everybody. Today is Wednesday, it's the 20th of March. It's 37 here in the square at noon. And uh, the week's weather uh, looks like it goes downhill. So today may be the best day. Sunny and 55. Uh, Thursday and Friday are partly cloudy. Thursday 52 for a high. Friday 55. And then we get into the real spring weather. Saturday a snow shower. 35 the high temperature. With a 60% chance of snow. Sunday another snow shower. Uh, 38, the high temperature with a 30% chance of snow. And then Monday is back to cloudy, but still cooler. Uh, 39, the high temperature. So this is really great for the first week of having spring weather. We have no birthdays or anniversaries today to announce. <coughs> so we'll go right to various events that are coming that we need to announce. And, of course, the one we've known about the longest is the Easter egg hunt in the square for the children at 11 o'clock on Saturday the 30th. So bring the children uh, with their little basket or bag to pick up eggs and things. And uh, it's always fun to watch even if you don't have children. It's probably more fun to watch if you don't have children. <laughs> <coughs> then things coming up for the week. Uh, the community uh, Good Friday service that where several of the churches get together is at the First Baptist Church uh, this year. And uh, at 6.30 in the evening on Good Friday, we're having uh, cookies and fellowship to start. And then at 7 o'clock is the Good Friday service. And the reason we have the fellowship first is because uh, many people feel like when you have the Good Friday service, you quietly leave and think about uh, Christ on the cross. And so we don't have a riotous party at the end of the Good Friday service. Also, uh, they will take an offering and the Thanksgiving community service <coughs> and the Good Friday community service are the only places where uh, the church has taken offering uh, for the minister's fund. And as uh, most people know, the minister's fund is used uh, mostly for uh, people that have a serious problem uh, with their electric bill or some other hardship, and sometimes for a transient who's traveling through town and gets marooned. So it's a good thing to have that offering. And uh, I always uh, tease everybody because uh, the, uh, the folks at Kenwood, the senior citizens, when they have a service, uh, they take an offering and they do it every week. And so at the end of the year, the senior service, the senior people putting their money in the offering plate, somebody will put in four or five nickels and somebody occasionally will have a dollar bill, sometimes a five even. And these people that are retired and uh, not at all wealthy are doing this every week. And when you add it all up, uh, they do more by doing a little bit every week than the rest of us do twice a year. So I do hope you'll think of a good-sized offering for the Minister's Fund uh, uh, for the Good Friday service if you plan to attend, and I hope that you do. Then uh, Easter... Uh, several churches have a sunrise service. <coughs> the First Methodist Church has one, and I'm not sure exactly where or when. Uh, the St. John the Apostles Church uh, has one too that I don't have much information about. And the Eden Valley Church has one that's going to be at a pond on uh, Robert's Farm. And uh, they know about that. And I don't have the times down, 
because I'm not really sure. Do they really go at sunrise or is it like some other terrible hour in the morning? Because uh, I'm not sure when sunrise is on Good Friday. It could be something like 7.23 and a half or something. So anyway, the Good Friday uh, sunrise services at the church, the various churches. <coughs> then we have a county-wide cleanup <coughs> week, April 1st through the 6th, and the dumps open from 8 to 3.30 at the Stafford County Dump. And for those of you in St. John, that's not necessarily when they're having the citywide cleanup, which they haven't told us yet. So I think it may be later. Uh, but anyway, people can go to the dump from 8.30 to 30, anybody in the county, and uh, it's a cleanup day. Now for our usual things that we have. <coughs> the Recreation Commission has uh, two events. One is the Senior Supper at the Sunflower Center on April 1st, on Monday, at 6 o'clock. And that's not an April Fool joke. That's when they're really going to have it. And they bring a dish or two to share uh, at the Sunflower Center just down the street from here. <coughs> then on Friday, the Recreation Commission has their pizza and a movie. And they help out a couple of local places. They have pizza at Poppy's Pizza down the street at 530 then at 6.30 they leave for Stafford and they go to the Stafford Theater which always has a really great movie about the life of Pi, a 16 year old Indian boy. And uh, I think usually they include a, a, a little thing of popcorn. Uh, and uh, so it's $20 for that trip and it includes uh, the pizza, the movie, the bus and the snack. So it's a bargain to go for $20, uh, and it helps out Poppy's Pizza and the Stafford Theater uh, to have you go. <coughs> then finally, the fellowship meal in uh, St. John at the Sunflowers, uh, they have not sent us a menu, and I think it's because they're not sure what the menu is going to be. Uh, but if anybody knows from the Sunflower Center, uh, bring us over a copy and we'll put it on the, the computer and we'll talk about it when we have the news. But today in Maxville, the VIP Center, they always send me their menu. I don't know how they know so far ahead. But they're either having a fish patty or a hamburger patty today with cream peas and other things. Then on uh, Thursday, Swiss steak with tomatoes and a baked potato. And on Friday, chicken, rice, casserole, and green beans. And uh, that's what they're having at the fellowship meal at the Maxville VIP Center. And those fellowship meals are a good thing for our seniors. And anybody else can go too, you just have to pay more if you're not a senior. <coughs> well, that's all the news and announcements I have for today. Uh, the word of the day is this. Do not question your wife's judgment. Look who she married. This is Jim Lakey, hoping you have a great Wednesday.